Howdy, howdy, folks. Once again, it is Donnie, and I'm coming at you with another lesson in the basic Linux command series. And this time I'd like to take a look at the locate utility, which is one of two command line utilities that we have to locate files on our file system. And of course, uh, if you have a Linux workstation set up with a desktop version of Linux, depending upon the desktop environment that you're using, you might have some built-in graphical utilities that are built into that desktop environment that you can use for locating files, but not all of them have it, okay? So like uh, if you're running GNOME 3 or KDE, you have those utilities. If you're running the lightweight types of desktops, like I prefer to run like LXDE or uh, uh, Enlightenment or something like that, uh, you're not going to have them, okay? And uh, it doesn't really matter to me because I actually prefer the command line utilities anyway. They're just more versatile and, you know, they, to me, they just work better. And, I'm, and you know, uh, by the time the desktop environments gained these graphical search utilities, I was so used to using the command line utilities anyway that, you know, I just never bothered to even try them out, right? So, uh, but anyway, the first one we want to look at here is called Locate. And the way Locate works is that we have a database which uh, it's it's an index of all the files on the file system. And so when you use locate, it doesn't go out to the file system every time and search through the whole file system. All it does is just to uh, pull in the data from that database. And if we look over here in the Etsy cron.daily directory, we see here that we indeed we have a cron job that runs every day with root privileges. So it can go through the entire file system on a daily basis. And we can take a look at it here, see what it looks like. Okay, so all it is is just the shell script which runs every single day which goes through and indexes all the files on your file system. All right, now don't worry about what all it means. I'm just showing you what it is, right? Just It's just a shell script that runs every day. All right, so anyway, we can also, we can also look at the man page. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot to tell you too, locate. It's something that used to come installed by default on pretty much every Linux distro. But to be frank, I rarely use locate for reasons that, reasons that I'll explain in a bit. But uh, I so rarely use it that I just now found out that on this Debian system here, it didn't come by default, okay? This is the latest and greatest Debian 9. So it didn't come by default. I had to actually install it. So I actually just did sudo well, actually, I used Synaptic, but you can use a sudo apt install locate like so. And I don't know if it still comes installed by default on other Linux distros or not. I haven't checked them. Uh, in fact, I just now found out that it's not installed by default on Debian anymore. Okay. But if you want to play with it, just do that uh, on the Debian or Ubuntu system. And of course, on CentOS, just do uh, yum install locate. Uh, Fedora, DNF install, locate, you know, what have you, right? But anyway, uh, once you get that, we can look at the man page for locate. And it does have a few option switches, but there's probably not a lot here that you're actually going to use. So if you just want to find out how many of a... Uh, uh, how many files you have that match a certain search criteria? You can do that with a dash C. Uh, we can do an. We can look for an alternate database uh, if you want to, but you're probably not going to. I mean, why? Uh, and then the other one that you might use will be the dash I. If you want to make your, if you want to make your search case 
insensitive. So uh, by default, the search is case sensitive. So like if you supply uh, all lowercase letters in the search term that you want to look for, then uh, you're going to get nothing back but that search uh, or, or but those files with all lowercase letters in their file names, right? So you put the dash I in there, then you might get file names with uppercase letters as well. And then the other one, which you might use, is the dash R, in which you're specifying that your term, your search term that you're supplying is a regular expression. Now, I don't want to get into regular expressions too much. Uh, just for now, let's say that regular expressions, it's, it's actually the name of a language which you can use to match patterns. So like, for example, uh, if you want to look for uh, email addresses in a file, right? You want to look for all the email addresses. You can use a regular expression that is just set up to match the pattern of an email address. Or if you want to look for social security numbers, uh, you can set up a regular expression that matches the pattern of social security numbers. So, uh, and you can do the same thing with file names. You got some sort of a pattern that you want to match with a regular expression or, or on a file name. You can do that with a regular expression. And then you can also do an uppercase dash S, which prints out statistics about the locate database. And we can go on down here and we can also have a few other things there that we can look at, that it recommends that we can look at. And uh, the one thing that we'll look at there uh, in just a bit is update DB, right? Now the update DB is a command which allows you to manually update the database. So we can do up sudo update db like so. It'll update the database manually, right? Uh, right now, I'm not going to do that because uh, we just now, uh, I just now installed this, so it's already updated the database, OK? So how does this work? Well, we can do locate star dash C. Let's say we want to look at all of the files that end in a dot C extension. We got that right there. And you see it's very, very fast because, as I said, it's not looking through the entire file system. All it's doing is just pulling in stuff from that database. If we want to make this a case insensitive search, we can put dash I in there like so, and it'll make it case insensitive. It'll find files with an uppercase C at the end. Doesn't matter this time because, you know, we don't have any uppercase Cs anyway. And if we want to look for a particular file, let's say we want to look for the past WD file. Well, we got a lot of past WD files there, right? So, so yeah. Found a whole bunch of them there. And you see there that it's not doing a whole word search here in this case. Okay, so it's it's looking for the past WD pattern even when it is in other text strings. So let's do this again. Except we'll do dash W. Well, doesn't make a difference, does it? Let's see here what the man page says about this. Okay, so uh, dash W matches against the whole name of the file It's listed in the database. This is the default. Well, for some reason, <laughs> a dash W doesn't seem to be, be making a difference here. Uh, so don't know why. Okay, so it is locating that text string uh, even when it's within other text strings. Okay, so anyway, that's really pretty much it for locate. Now, uh, the good thing about locate, okay, or two good things about the locate utility. First off, 
it is very, very easy to use, very easy to understand, because there's not a whole lot that you can do with it. There's just not a lot of options that you can use with it. And the other thing, it is very, very fast, because, as I said before, it's not pulling stuff from the file system itself. It's not searching through the file system itself. All it's doing is pulling stuff from that database, right? And, uh, and, and, and speaking of the database, let's look at this, uppercase S, like so. And here we have information about the database file. We see that it is in the var cache locate directory, and the name of the file is locate db. Okay, so very good there, right? Uh, but anyway, so those are the good things about the locate utility. So what are the bad things about it? Uh, well, for one thing, it's not all that versatile, right? So uh, the most versatility you can get out of it is if you learn how to use regular expressions, and that way you can match patterns if you need to. But other than that, it's not real versatile at all. There's not that much you can do with it. If you want something that's quick and easy, fine. But if you want to be able to search for different criteria, then it's not going to work for you. So that's one of the bad things. The other bad thing is that because it pulls its information out of that database, if you just created a file or if you just uh, downloaded a file or whatever and then you need to search for it, then it's not going to find it until the next time that that database gets updated. So you either have to wait a day, you know, until or a few hours at least until, you know, however long it takes for the cron job to run again in order to get that updated or you have to manually update it yourself in order to find that file. So those are the two bad things about it. So anyway, really that's pretty much it for the locate utility and in the next video we're going to take a look at the find utility which is a whole lot more versatile and that's the one that i use so until then i hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to like and subscribe and hey share that with your friends too and then we'll see you next time